Hello, welcome to Supramolecular Chemistry. 14CH3007 and I have given as 403. We have seen several topics before. In this uh, set of slides, we are going to talk about the uh, guest properties of metal organic frameworks. So, we have seen what are metal organic frameworks or the metal organic porous materials. And today, we are going to see how uh, the guest interact with metal organic frameworks how they are stored how they can enter and come out what happens and all those things so metal organic frameworks we have already seen there is uh, two things involved in metal organic frameworks to build up one is the organic linkers or the organic ligands the next one is the metal ions or clusters or even it is called as the hubs so these organic linkers and the metal ions join together to form metal organic frameworks or they are called as metal organic porous materials called by different scientists across the globe and they are able to have several applications like this metal organic frameworks and its applications so they are used in the separation technology purification of compounds as a catalyst wherein the reaction takes place inside the pores of the metal organic frameworks drug storage they can store drugs inside their pores and in recently they are used as sensors chemical sensors biosensors for environmental hazardous uh, metals and uh, <coughs> anions amino acids etc then for gas storage mainly for gas storage like hydrogen carbon dioxide methane etc so what are the guest properties of uh, metal organic frameworks mainly they are of three types the depends upon the porosity and how the framework whether it is an open framework or it is a dynamic framework so in order for the network to be truly porous if you want to have a porous materials the lattice solvent of the gas must be removable from the solid and not merely disordered within the channels that is the permanent porosity refers to the structures that are able to persist there will be absolutely no degradation of the framework despite the channels being completely emptied by the guest species that means when the guest enters when it leaves there should not be any degradation of the framework we have seen clathrates they are also type of a uh, solid state supramolecular structures but they are stable only when the guest species are included but that should not be the case in the case in in metal organic frameworks This is a typical example, a three-dimensional coordination polymer that place, displays guest exchange. It has the organic ligand 1,3-phytrus, 4-ethanyl benzonitrile benzene and the nodes or the hubs as silver 1 ions. They both form a good hexagonal structure with hexagonal channels filled inside. It is shown in the figure here, the hexagonal structure. Uh, cavities and this can include benzene inside in a ratio approximately 2 or 3 is to 1 so it can accommodate guests benzene as guests so we are coming to the open framework so open framework is sometimes suggestive that the fact guests are free to enter and leave the structure so a typical example i have taken here is a zirconium oxychloride and a fumaric acid Zirconium oxychloride and fumaric acid with the help of solvothermal reactions you can have a metal organic framework that is zirconium based they have given MOF801 so they are able to encapsulate fluorides ions from brick tea so they can absorb fluoride ions from brick tea so the uh, fluoride ions can enter or leave the metal organic frameworks to the channels but nothing happens to the channels they are not degraded they are robust This is the other type of framework which is dynamic. It is not always a metal organic framework to be robust and rigid. By the presence of different guest molecules, sometimes the lattice systems are designed in such that they may change may occur inside. So these are called as dynamic frameworks. That means they adjust themselves when the guests are inside when they leave. So they are of three types. One is breathing, swelling and linker rotation. If the framework, if the distortion occurs predominantly in one direction, then it is called as swelling. 
so when the gas molecules accommodate keep on accommodating it swells in one directions it adjusts the lattice framework adjusts by itself then it is called swelling sometimes it expands and also when the gas goes away it contracts so simultaneous expansion and contraction ha happens in multiple directions and that you call it as a breathing that you call it as breathing here okay that you call this as a breathing and this is swelling and between the linkers okay the linkers between the linkers there is the rotation of bond these bonds they can adjust themselves and that is called as linker rotation in taking the guest inside so the main applications as i told you the possibility of the most active of research area with regards to metal organic frameworks is the capacity to reversibly store small molecules that means they can store nitrogen hydrogen methane carbon dioxide etc and when needed they can taken out of particular importance hydrogen and methane storage to store and transport environmental friendly fuels such as hydrogen under amb ambient conditions these type of metal organic frameworks are used so they are done in two ways one by chemist option the other by physics option so you can see this zirconium based metal organic frameworks this is zirconium based metal organic frameworks which can storage which can store methane and also carbon dioxide so there are n number of examples in textbooks as well as in journals these days and also several examples